Today we're talking all about how I store all of my bags. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. And on this channel, we talk about everything from bag reviews, product reviews, and so much more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today I'm gonna to show you how I store all of the bags that I share on this channel. And it's in my little office that I share with my husband. So let me turn the camera around all right. and show you. As we walk in, I wanna first mention that my wardrobe piece that I'm about to show you today is from Ikea, as is these little pieces right here. My favorite thing in my office, hands down, is my fiddle leaf fig plant. I am obsessed with watching it grow. It just sprouted a new leaf. Eee, I love it. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Let me show you how I have this wardrobe all organized. And um, let's just jump in. It does not have handles, so I just grab it from the top here and fling it open. Here is the inside. So way starting way over on the left, I have my House of Flynn camera bag. It is absolutely beautiful. Of course, I have a review on my channel of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you'll see that the bags are hanging on these two prong hangers um, that hold the handbag handles right here. So I can link those in the description box down below. They're just from Amazon. Um, but next to the House of Flynn bag, I have my two Lily Jade bags. I've narrowed down my collection to the Old English Elizabeth and the Old English Shaylee. And I think it is so cool to see how the tones of the leather are so different. My Shaylee is about four years old and she's squishy and I love her love. Next to them are the two Prada bags I have. So I've um, done a review on this beautiful leather one. My aunt gifted me or handed down to me one of her bags and um, both of those are Prada. Then next to that I have my Mina Bay bags and they are in order of size. So I have the nylon Mina Bay fanny right here and one thing you'll notice too is they're all nylon because I just love love the Mina Bay nylon. This is a mini Stevie, so cute. This is a midi Emmy, and they're beautiful midnight and gold. And then this is a full size Emmy in black and gunmetal. Yeah, in black and gunmetal. So there's a look at their two different hardwares. My Mina Bay Amelia, I'm currently using. It's right there, and that's got silver hardware. So that is what is hanging out up on top. As I pan down a little bit, you will see over on this far left side, this is the Bowery backpack. And inside, I have my other Bowery items. So in here, I have my Bowery tote bag. Let me kind of open it up, give it a little shake. My Bowery quattro tote. And then I have my Bowery crossbody bag, which both of these bags are so, so good absolutely love them. Next to that, I have my bags from Kuyana. I have three. I have the Kuyana leather satchel, which is just love. And then I have two of these structured tote bags, one in caramel and one in stone. The stone color is my favorite. I love these tote bags because they have that beautiful contrast of the blush interior and the leather is just so, so good. So love. Next to that, I have a rough and tumble shoppers tote. This is their limited edition tote which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the detail on the side. And it is holding all of my rough and tumble bags, except for my 1904, which is sitting right next door. This is my custom 1904. And then in here, I have my new um, custom pinched bottom traveler, which is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you the interior really quick. If you wanna see a review of this bag, just let me know. Here is a peek at the interior. It is so, so pretty. Um, then under that, I have my OG bucket bag, which I love. It's in the beautiful hazelnut new buck, I believe, which is gorgeous and distressed espresso strap. Um, I have my oldest and my first rough and tumble hobo bag that I custom designed a while back. It has the most beautiful mustard floral interior, and it is a large hobo looks like that. Love her. And then the last bag way down in there is the burrow. And this is a beautiful, I think it's in Mel Brown and Garnet interior burrow with the cinch top. It's so, so beautiful. So those are my rough and tumble bags living in that shopper's tote. Here's a quick look at the custom 1904 that was sitting right next door. It's in prawn. And then look at the beautiful watercolor flap. And then it has a 
wolf, like wolf colored details, the gray, and then the gray canvas. Cinch top, love, love, love. Um, and this is in a large size. So let's go ahead and head right next door. All right, before we jump into what's inside my blush camo max bag from MZ Wallace, I wanna show you two little bags that are hiding right back here. I have my Mina Bay Audrey in black and gunmetal right here, love. And then I have my MZ Wallace small Sutton in magnet. That's hiding. And then, let me kind of push this back in. When you lift this out, my Lily Jade organizer is right underneath. Let me show you what is in the max. This bag is full to the brim of all of my bags. I have the Valentine's Day Small Metro Tote Deluxe. I have my Medium Metro Tote. This is my all-time favorite mushroom and bark combo. I have, let's see, this bag. What is this? Oh, this is a Small Max in Mushroom. Another Small Metro Tote Deluxe in their beautiful limited edition star print from a couple years back. I have a medium magnet. And the last bag in there is my Quattro, Metro Quattro tote. Look at the interior. It's hot pink, it's beautiful. Love, love, love. So that was all inside my regular sized Max. All right, moving on down to the very bottom shelf here. Let's see what I have in here. So first up, I love this bag, Zoo amusement parks. Look at the polka dot lining. This particular color isn't available, but the style is. So I will link everything I can below. That is my lightweight Rothy's tote that's all folded up. And it's okay that it's folded up because it, that's how it arrived to me. So before you gasp, inside my Louis Vuitton replica bag that I got from Walmart is a bunch of dust bags. Um, when we come this way, this is my Target bag, which I think is so cute. Um, my Lululemon belt bag. This little clear pouch um, is got all kinds of little baubles. I have a little Mina Bay pouch, a Louis Vuitton one, um, my MZ Wallace. Wait, let's just kind of open it up and see. My MZ Wallace and a platinum anniversary gift, which is a little lilac colored pouch, which is really beautiful. And then some other um, MZ Wallace pouches. The Sam pouch, which is really cute a Stony Clover pouch, another little MZ Wallace pouch. Those, um, oh, and then my like all-time favorite iridescent Hello Kitty print from Stony Clover. Those are all in that bag, a little clear bag so I can see what's going on there. I have my um, Le Sport Sack little Jenny bag right here. Behind that is my Long Chomp bag, which I don't carry all that often. Um, but I have it folded up there just so I know where it's at. And then up top, you can see I have my um, MZ Wallace Metro sling bag right there. And all the straps are inside. My bags and things from my Louis Vuitton purchases. So there you have it. That's what was hanging out down here. Oh, in the very back, back here, I have my Prada, <laughs> my Prada bag from when I purchased my purse. And then in there is my Stony Clover tote bag that I don't use anymore because it's torn and like super bummer, but you know, it is what it is. I also have my Free People um, vegan leather bag. It's a little tote bag back there too. But that's what was in the bottom shelf. And you may have noticed earlier, this wardrobe features this roll out shelf so you can roll it out and push it back in. And there you go, that is how I have all of my bags stored. I've really pared down over the years and I'm just so happy with myself that I was able to do it because it's not easy to let things go, but it is so necessary. So there you go. That's how I store all of my bags. All right, everyone, that is it for the video today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this Saturday and seeing how I have all of my bags stored. If you have any questions or need links to anything, check the description box down below or drop me a comment and I'm happy to help. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see all of you guys again in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.